When the opportunity came up, I immediately reached out to the US team. It was Anthony Garcia who reacted immediately on the same day. Alberto came to us and said, can you help solve this client's problem? We found a solution and put together a proposal. In March 2016, Mammut Italy reached out to the Mammut USA team to help a client on a tight deadline modify a deck for an offshore platform in New Iberia, Louisiana. The deck and jacket were scheduled to be transported to the Congo, West Africa. To meet the environmental specifications, the legs needed to be shortened by 24 and a half feet. With a timeline in place, the operation needed to be quick, within budget, and pose as little risk of damage to the deck and jacket as possible. The clock was ticking. The deck was 89 feet wide, 83 feet tall, 95 feet long, and weighed 880,000 pounds. The original approach was to use a climbing jack and block method. This method would gradually lift the deck so that a small section of the legs could be cut, and then the deck would be lowered. The process would be repeated five times before the legs were cut at the desired points. This method was time-consuming, involved iterations, and therefore increased the risk. The longer the deck was elevated, increased the possibility of wind-related issues, stability issues, damage to the deck, and injury to personnel working below. Mammut believed this could be done quicker, simpler, and safer. The team proposed the JS500 jackup system. With the right planning, engineering, and modifications to existing equipment, Mammut could lift the entire deck with the JS500 system and cut the legs at the correct points at one time. This solution would not only be faster, reducing the potential risks associated with the deck being elevated for an extended period, but also more cost efficient for the client. For this solution to work, Mammut's engineering team would have to work through a couple of challenges. The ground conditions at the job site were good, but it was an open area and susceptible to high winds. Engineering would have to ensure that the deck would be stable in winds up to 30 miles per hour. The second challenge was that the JS500 has a maximum reach of 33 feet. In order to reach the required height to cut the legs, modifications would need to be made to exceed the system's limits. Mammut would have to find a way to add another 18 feet to support the deck. After hours of meticulous pre-planning regarding engineering, safety, and technical capabilities, Mammut came up with a reliable solution and was ready to execute. Mammut asked the client to add temporary bracing to the deck. The additional bracing would create new, strong jacking points to keep the deck stable during the cutting and removal of the legs. To save the client time and additional costs, Mammut suggested a minimal amount of necessary bracing be added. The deck would need to be supported at 35 feet on one side and 51 feet on the other. After the bracing was added, the JS500 was assembled. To exceed the 33-foot lifting capacity of the system, Mammut made modifications to some of its existing auxiliary equipment. On the shorter side, a steel mat was secured to the first two JS500 cans placed into the system. On the other side, four steel jack stands were secured together, secured on top of a steel mat, and then to the top of the first two cans in the system. The JS500 cans were fed into the system, one by one until the mats and modified jack stands met the jacking points. Once in place, Mammut added two additional braces for extra wind protection. The legs were ready to cut. Once the lower section of the legs were detached, Mammut raised the deck as far as the modified system could reach to allow clearance for the 24 and a half foot, 40,000 pound sections to be removed. Because of limited space, each leg had to be removed with only four axle lines of self-propelled modular transporters, or SPMTs. Mammut was able to execute the entire jacking process from start to finish in three hours. Once all four legs were cleared from the area, the deck was lowered, seated into cup cans, and welded out. Mammut held the load with the JS500 until the welding was complete. Following the welding, Mammut released the full weight of the deck onto its tunnel load spreaders and demobilized the JS500 system. Thanks to Mammut's quick response, cross-country coordination, front-end safety, and project planning and engineering, 
the newly modified deck and jacket was ready for transport and installation in the Congo, five days ahead of schedule and without incidents. Mamut, the biggest thing we move is time.